And welcome back to another episode of Formidable Fashion Review Spooky Edition Ooh. with your hosts Victor Baskerville and Jasmine Phillips. Yes. Prepare for the fright of your life tonight. <sighs> Scary. Terrifying. Spooky. Witchy. And that's only the corset. This week we have seven queens remaining in the competition and they were asked to do some of my favourite challenges which are the reading challenge and the snatch game. Yes, those are good challenges, those are fun. Those are not spooky. Not spooky, but very entertaining. What did you think of the reading challenge? Reading? What reading? <laughs> no, These girls are illiterate! <laughs> illiterate! I thought, to be honest, one of the standouts for me was Scarlet Harlot. I just thought she was really mean, but it was kind of... She was very mean, she was clearly had a point to prove. Yeah. You make absolutely no impression at all. <laughs> and it, there's always a cringe element as well when they're mean. Yeah, oh my god. It's always entertaining. Um, who else? Kitty was pretty good. Ella was good, right? Ella was alright, yeah. I think all of them were okay. okay. Yeah. I, th I thought they were all pretty good. Uh, but no one was amazing, as you said. No one made me cry laughing. But at the same time, no one was that bad. I can't think of anyone who sort of had a dud. Yeah, there was no clunkers, I don't think. You make absolutely no impression at all. <laughs> Funny. Snatch game! What do you think? Hey. You make absolutely no impression at all. <laughs> it wasn't the strongest ever. Uh, but it wasn't the weakest ever either. Um, last season, well, I had one of my favourites ever, which was Bimini. Bimini was Katie so Bryce. Funny. So funny. Gemma was actually banging on my dressing room door earlier on. Really? I let her out eventually. <laughs> <laughs> and I think even season one, with uh, the Vivian as Trump and Baggy Chips as well. Oh, that was really funny. Yeah, that was a comic. Yeah, that was really good. But this one was just, okay. Um, Ella Bidet surprised me by being so good as Nigella Lawson. So funny, the right? first time she's shown that she could actually be funny at all, really. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god, who knew? Yeah. Absolutely fabulous, Nadine Kayar. It's great. Oh, it's lovely to see you. I don't know where you're from or what you do, but it's gorgeous. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I just think Ella was hilarious. Mm -hmm. She stole the show for me by far. And I think her performance was iconic. I think, you know, the, 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 some of the lines she said were iconic lines. She really stole the show for me. I thought she was amazing. I don't know where you're from or what you do, but it's gorgeous. And Kitty, I loved Kitty. I thought Kitty was really funny as Jammer Collins. Yeah. The JC babes. Who would you be if you were on such <coughs> Which one of your many personalities? Oh my god, I don't know. I haven't really narrowed it down yet. I mean, Jamaican, I've always thought he's really funny. But I don't know, she's a bit mean. Do you know Jamaican? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as a, as a character as well. Yeah, so like Chris Lilly. Chris Lilly. Would be. Yeah. I'd be like, oh my god, bro. Like, I love it. You have the three finger thigh gap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not being funny, but like, I think they wanted like someone like, like attractive. I don't mean to be rude, but I think you're a total beach. You make absolutely no impression at all. <laughs> yeah, that would be quite funny. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe nobody has done Joanna Lumley. Who would you be? Would you be Joanna Lumley? Joanna Lumley, but specifically as Patsy from Oh Fab. yeah. yeah the, the sweetie darling. Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah, sweetie yeah. darling. Shall I get a pack of ten cigarettes and like smoke up? Yeah, so ten at once. That would be like, sorry, darling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll just have a tipple and then just does some coke. Yeah. Spliffs <laughs> falling out of her hair. <laughs> it's disgusting, that. that is so degrading to women. Oh. What do you mean? She's got the whip. Yeah. I feel very demonic. Yeah. And look at my shoes. I think shoes. you look more like a goblin. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh! So your oh. pum pum. Vagina if you, if you want, be scientific. Oh! And dear, that is terrifying. <laughs> the view is terrifying. Fuck off! There's nothing there. You've tucked it away. Got chopped off in my dad. I think we should do it. Yeah? You're done? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Just press record, kind. <laughs> So this week, the queens were asked to do a look that was tutti frutti. Oh, tutti frutti. Yes. Uh, you're a bit fruity yourself, I think. <laughs> the fierce fruit. Uh, fierce dead bitch. Scary, right? That'd be scary. 
Yeah, but I'm meeting you in an alleyway. Rawr. The last time I saw you in an alleyway, you said, 50 quid and I'll suck you up. <laughs> Which was terrifying as well, to be fair. No, I did it for free. Made traits. <laughs> up first, we have. Waiting for a vampire in a corset. Up first, we have Theresa May. <laughs> um, I really liked this look. Um, I thought it was really beautiful. I liked the off the shoulder. I love an off the shoulder. I liked the puffy sleeves. I liked the fruit basket on the hat. Um, I liked the silhouette, the fabric. Yeah. I really liked this look. It didn't reinvent the wheel, but I think it was a cool interpretation of fruit. A toot. Um, I really like this as well. Um, I've been a bit <laughs> disappointed by Theresa's looks. But I, she started off really strong in the first episode and then gone downhill and then she come back up again. Oh, because I can't. I really like this one. It's camp, but it fits her very well. It's still kind of stylish. Um, like the, the way that the colours are coordinated together um, and the headpiece is very well made. Um, yeah, I really like this. Um, it's definitely a, a toot. Tooty fruity toot. Gorgina, Gorgina, Gorgina! Give us your demon voice. My demon voice? <laughs> Not me! My demon voice! She said me rising from the cemetery S late at night! Say I want to consensually fuck you and kill you. I want to consensually fuck you and kill you, is that alright? Is that alright, babe? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Is that not consecutive? Oh my god, it's not for me. Okay, up next we have Crystal Versace. Yeah. In a garment. A garment. What do we think? This is Mugler level of runway. Mugler. This is, in my opinion, the best that Crystal has looked so far. Oh, it's on the runway. And she's looked amazing already so far. Uh, I, was, I was obsessed with this. Like, I don't think that runways overall this episode are very strong. But Crystal is just amazing. It's futuristic, yeah. it's fashionable, it's camp at the same time. It's just everything you would ever want from everything. Runway. She is everything. She's taken the concept of literally being a, being a fruit, dressing as a fruit on the runway, but has done it in such a fashionable and stylistic way that it's gone from, you know, it could have ended up as Tia Coffee's ice cream cone. If you just come as a piece of food. No, we're not with Crystal. Not with Crystal, but it's sort of the other end of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah. This is so amazing. Like, I think this is actually a shoot for me. A shoot? This is this is the first shoot. shoot. The first shoot of the season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shoot! Shoot! <laughs> it's like your call to wake the dead. <laughs> yeah, the hand coming up with the. Victor. Victor. Oh my god, what happened with the lights? Oh my god. Oh my god. Whatever will we do? Ah! I'm, I'm dead damsel in distress. Oh, you died again. Thank God for that. In the arms I really love this. I think it goes in and out. Great observation. The silhouette is what the fuck beautiful. She is a passion fruit. Dragon fruit. She's dragon fruit. Which and is I, also just a cool fruit to go for. Yeah. It's not a basic fruit. Yeah. Like, I'm an apple. I am a banana. Yeah, banana. It's it, it's cover. I can imagine this on a magazine cover of maybe Dazed. Um, I think it's rhinestone beautifully. It's very, you know, it's modern. This is modern fashion and it's gorgeous. I think the pink and the white and the yellow and the green all just go together so well. Mm -hmm. This is really, really impressive. And look, she's wearing your little sock shoes that you didn't like, but now they're Gorgina. Now they're Gorgina, yeah, because it fits with the look. Gorgina Georgina. Yes. So. Toot. 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 I don't know what's going on either. <laughs> Ooh, that, that was a spooky laugh. I won't get another drink. I want to get another drink. I'm sure you'll find a spirit as it's Halloween. Ooh. The spirits are haunting. 
meaning haunted by spirits. Haunted. It's a very poetic way to say you're an alcoholic. Spooky, spooky skeletons. Check out this waist. Check out this waist. Basically, just a skeleton with skin. A skeleton with skin. Oh. Fat ass. <laughs> yes. Tart, tart, tart. We love this fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we have Scarlet Harlot. Yes. What do we think? Yes. No. Lettuce a fruit? Oh, I wish I had never seen this. Yeah. It's horrendous. It's not a fruit! It's lettuce. It is not a fruit. It is the colour of lime. Is it's lettuce a fruit? No, lettuce is a vegetable. Is butter a carb? Is butter a carb? Uh, butter is a carb. Isn't it? Yes. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I don't like this look, okay? She's put effort into it, so it's sad to dismiss it so. I think it doesn't work with all that stuff going on up here and not enough going on down here. It just doesn't work. I've had that complaint before. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. And you know, I, <laughs> I just, I think maybe if it was off the shoulder that could have been cooler. Yeah. And I think what it really needed, what it really, really needed is big hair. She needed big hair. Like, honey, you can't fucking, like, those those flat wigs aren't going to carry you the entire competition. Yeah, you can't have all this volume around your shoulders. And then the, the hair just gets lost. Like, particularly because it's the same colour as the rest of her outfit. Everything just blends into one. It's like literally like looking at human lettuce. And is she telling us she's a lime or a lettuce? A lime. She's alive. Yeah. Thought, she's alive! <laughs> Demon lettuce haunting my nightmares oh, now. <laughs> or it could be lettuce the stripper, it could be like the sexy lettuce. lettuce. <laughs> That's lettuce. also haunting my nightmares now. <laughs> no, this is the, the worst outfit. It's not even, it doesn't fit the assignment, it's horribly ugly. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't flatter her in any way. Her makeup looks very pretty, and I actually think the uh, the wig suits her face, just not the rest of the outfit. It gets it gets yeah. lost with it. So for me, it is a boot. This is a boot for me too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Up next, we have. River Medway. This is basic. Yeah. Very basic. Yeah. Very crafty. Very uninspired. Mm. Just not flattering. I think River has an issue with her lower half. Like, she doesn't know how to silhouette her lower half. Yeah. Like she did this with the Spice Girls challenge, she wore pants that were sort of not quite right for her. Yeah. Um, this doesn't work, although it is innovative and interesting, because I've never seen this before. It's a coconut or it's a bowl of fruit. It's a bowl of fruit, yeah. But the bowl is just weird looking. Yeah. I know what she was going for, but it doesn't look good. No. The top half is nice though, I do like the top half and I do like the wig. Yeah, the wig looks okay on her. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I like the top half of the outfit really. You don't. Yeah, it's a little bit basic and it's not very. It's not actually that well constructed. It does look a bit messy. Um, and there's nothing on her arms. Where are the accessories? That's fine. What does she need on her arms? Well, I don't know. A banana bracelet or something. It just looks bare. It looks too bare. Yeah. Um, especially because the bottom half is literally is plain brown. Um, Picture for me. She has her other arm, one arm covered with fruits. Yeah. Her right arm, the one on the right of us, so her left arm. And she has one leg covered with fruits and really good hip pads. Yeah. Nude illusion. I feel like this would be a two, right? Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Um... She should have just dropped the idea and just been like, right, I'm going to stick fruits all over my body. Yeah. I think. Yeah, that would have been better than this. 
Fuck or, the bowl. Or if you wanted the bowl, do it something like Victoria's Gone in episode one, where she had that huge plate where was, she was the afternoon tea. That was cool. And then put like the big fruits on top of it. So yeah. it's like you're a huge bowl. Because this makes your silhouette just look weird. Oh my god. No, but what I think is silhouette is key. Silhouette is key to the look. And if you don't have the silhouette, the look visually does not look right, as you can see. Silhouette is key. I'm such a cunt. Yes, we know. Uh, so yeah, this is a total boot for me. Yeah, this is a boot for me, unfortunately. Next we have... Hell of a day. Hell of a day! I prefer an hell of a night. Yeah. I'm a nocturnal being myself. So what do you think of this outfit? Um, I love this. I mean, it's simple, but I just think it's really sexy. I've said this before and I will say it again. Hell of a day is sexy. Her silhouette, what she comes up with is sexy. And I think this is really sexy. Her wig really makes it for me. I think the wig is sexy, the wig is hot, the, the dress is contoured. It could be boring, but it's not because she's got the, the lemon logos and the cutout hip area, which blends really well with her body. What about this is lemon? What? She's got the watermelon seeds. Yeah. You said lemon logos. I'm drunk, okay? Uh, that's what excuse for everything. I'm always drunk. <laughs> always drunk. Love it. No, I love this. I think it's sexy, it's gorgeous. It's not the best thing on the runway, but it's it's up there, yeah. Toot. Mm, I'm gonna have to disagree with you on this one, gal. It just looks cheap. The silhouette is sexy. <laughs> you feel a bit demonized. Uh, the silhouette is sexy, you're right. And she does look like a MILF. But it's so cheap and tacky looking. Like the materials look cheap. The, the way that the stones, the, the shape of the seeds, like it's not, they, they don't look filled in properly. I actually, I don't like the hair on her either. I don't think- What? I don't think the white goes with the rest of the outfit. You don't like the hair? Yeah, it's gone from MILF to GILF. Oh fuck off! This old lady. Oh my god. Old lady in a watermelon outfit. <laughs> so you don't like it? I don't like this. You don't like it? Oh it. my god. Oh boot. my god. It's a boo! <laughs> fuck off! Boo! <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where that came from. God, that's so weird. Anyway, up next we have Vanity Milan. Uh, Vanity Milan! Do you, do, who wants who was to go first? You or me? Who wants to die first? <gasps> I'll, I'll go first. <laughs> the less time I have to spend with you, the better. I think this is okay. I really like the sleeves. Um, but that's about it, really. Uh, the headpiece is underwhelming if you compare it to Teresa's. Um, it's, kind of, it's clever how she keeps the bowl. On her head. Mm. She's worn this neck piece, this necklace, three times already. Yeah. Seen it before, do not have any other necklaces. The dress is incredibly basic. Yeah. The tights are black, which looks kind of weird. Should have been skin yeah. colour. Because yeah. it sort of just blends into her boot. The hair is odd as well. It almost looks like a, uh, a cap. Yeah. Yeah, very strange. Yeah. But I do like the sleeves, but right. like, overall, it's a boot, I think. Yeah. I think this, it's a cool, I like the sleeves and I like the bowl on the head. And I get where she's coming from, it does look like what she's talking about. But I think when you really look at it on the runway, it just looks a little basic. Mm -hmm. um, I love an off the shoulder moment, and I do think if she cut out those shoulders, it might look a little more elevated. And maybe put something around her waist. Mm -hmm. um, but I think in general, uh, yeah, it just looks a bit too basic for me. It's like a very normal dress that she's added big sleeves to in a fruit bowl. Yeah, it is a very high street dress. Mm -hmm. Like, you could get this in H&M, probably. And then add the sleeves to it. You couldn't get it with the sleeves. No, no, not with the sleeves. You need no. to add the sleeves. Yeah. I get what she's going for, but I think there's an elevated way to do it. But I think she missed the mark. 
um, a little bit. So it's probably a boot for me. Yeah, a boot for me too. And I would also say the makeup has regressed a bit. It's softer and she looks prettier. But she, but she looks shiny again. Last week she didn't look shiny. Oh really? No, she looks shiny. How can you again. even see that with your demon eyes? I have. 666 vision. Next we have Kitty Scott Claw. Kitties. Kitty. Just the Kitty. <laughs> Kitty. Demon Kitty. Yeah. I love this look. I think this is gorgeous. Gorgina Gorgina Dubois. Um, you know what I like about it? I like the detail. She's got this this sort of illicit, expensive detail, detail along her. Her corsage, her décolletage, her titties, and she's got a f she's got so many different patterns. She's got fishnet. She's got thinning, slimming patterns. She's got holly and ivy. She's got snakes like Britney Spears. She's got big sleeves, netting down the arm, Britney-inspired capuche. It's fucking gorge. It's gorgeous. This is my favourite look on the runway. I love it. It's your favourite look on the runway? Yeah, I really do like it. Yeah. Crystal did Crystal and Crystal did amazing, but this is Stanisha. Yeah, this, this is something totally new for Kitty. Yeah. I think it's my favourite outfit from her. Mm -hmm. um, and I agree with everything you've said. She does look amazing. Uh, it's a sort of combination of Poison Ivy slash Britney Spears slash a nurse slash Little Red Riding Hood. Um, yeah, it, it's really, really cool. Yeah. It's sort of, it's it, a little bit costumey, but it's also elevated, so it still looks fashion yeah, and stylish. Yeah, so elevated, so elevated. It is, it's a bit creepy, where you can see the, the veins creepy. on her chest. Yeah, it's creepy. So I'm not really sure how it fits into the rest of the look, but I still like it. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Cherry. And, and as you said, the the design of the outfit is very clever because it is, yeah. very, is very slimming with the way that the V shape yeah. is designed. It's gorgeous. Um, oh. I'm not really sure what's going on with the shoes. Oh, what is, I didn't even look at the shoes. I feel like she said with the shoes, don't notice me. I am not here. I am unexistent. She even covered half of the shoes with her socks and I think it worked. I really didn't notice the shoes when I looked at this. She could have worn red shoes, she could have worn a red boot, but she didn't. I, uh, I don't like the shoes, but it doesn't, it's, that's the only thing that detracts from it really. Yeah, 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 it's just the shoes. The rest of it is great. So Gorge. This is definitely a toot. Yeah, it's a big toot for me. Toot. <laughs> so who was your top look of the week, your top toot of the week? My top look of the week was... Kitty Scott Claus! Yes! I fucking loved her, babe. She was hot. She was fire. Mm -hmm. Kitty. Kitty! Yeah. Kitty would be my second. Oh. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. But yeah, Kitty would be my second. It was her best look by far. But obviously, my favourite look was Crystal's. I gave it a shoot, so. It's true. I must admit, Crystal's would be on Dazed ahead of Kitty's. Kitty's was more drag, Crystal's was more fashion. Relativity is the art of pain. <laughs> oh. oh! New stuff! Yes! <laughs> oh no, don't send them both home. Fuck off, slut. So, I'm giving RuPaul demon eyes and devil eyes. Not this. You're not impressed. No, I'm not impressed. I don't like this producing. I don't like this stuff. I... Okay, it's drama. Okay, it's drama. You tell off the queens. How dramatic. You d double eliminate them. How dramatic. But it's like, it does, it's not really real, is it? You know? Come on, we know whenever someone wins a lip sync, it's literally just because the... I think River won that. I think River did the song. Yeah. Uh, River didn't have her wig coming off, half her on the back of her head. River was giving variation in the routine, sort of the slow moments and then the dancing moments. Yeah. I think she did an 
Uh, she did an okay job. Like if I, I saw her like, perform that job. as a lip sync in a club, a lip -sync. it wouldn't be like, oh wow, that's amazing. But yeah, be like, you did the song. It's such a double standard, and you know, it's a really shitty way to treat someone who has given their heart and soul to the show. It's getting edgy now, isn't it? I feel like it's getting to the point where it's getting a bit controversial. What yeah. we're saying is a bit controversial, but it's just the tea. It's how we feel. So that was it for this week's episode of Formidable Fashion Review. Uh, next week we'll only have five queens to review, well, unless they bring someone back. Yeah. But who knows what's going to happen with this, yeah. this wild season. Who fucking okay. knows? Or, if you want to watch next week's episode, you can uh, find us on the Ouija board. Just contact us with a seance and we will appear in your living room to tell you that we think your clothes are awful. Your makeup is terrible. Bye. 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 Bye.